Hello again, this is Paul from Liberty Street Software. The purpose of this video is to show you how to add assets uh, using our Asset Manage Asset Tracking software. Now before I begin, let's uh, look at the user to fields. If you select Tools, Preferences from the main menu, then click on the Field Names tab. You'll see that I've defined a user-defined field, uh, just giving it a generic name, accounting code. You'll see that later on as we uh, enter the Add Asset dialog. So to add an asset, uh, one way to do it is just click on the Add Item button. Uh, you'll see this yellow field here, which is a mandatory field. Uh, we're going to enter a printer, so I'm just going to enter the description, brother, all in one printer category. Now we can choose the drop down. If we need to create a new category, we can do it on the fly. Just enter the name of the category here and it will be automatically created. But for now we're just going to select computer printer. Uh, location and department. Uh, let's select main office accounting. That's been entered automatically. Now to decide who the asset is assigned to, you can choose from the drop down. We just entered, we just created one uh, employee. That would be me. Uh, again, you can enter a new employee name here if you need to, and it'll be uh, automatically created. So we'll select that. Date purchase, dealer, Sabre Technologies, base cost, let's make it $540. You can add tax if you need to. Manufacturer, brother, model number MFC 7280N. Now the next tab gives us additional options. Uh, you can specify you could specify what the, uh, the insurance information, lease information, etc. Here, uh, you can also scan in a barcode. Use it to fields. Here you see the accounting code field that I entered um, as a user defined field. So let's make that notebook. This is the way you keep track of expenses and any maintenance uh, associated with an asset. So let's say for example we changed the toner cartridge for this item. Um, we can s specify that was a maintenance item. It occurred 11.25. Change toner cartridge cost Okay, and that's been entered as a notebook item. Now, this notebook uh, section will also, you can also, also automatically create um, items in the notebook. For example, every, you see here the asset tracking record changes in location and record changes in status assignment. What that'll do is if you were to change the location of this asset to another department or to another uh, location, it would create an item in the notebook saying, saying that a uh, location change has occurred and the details, the date, etc., etc. Item pictures. We can uh, add up to 16 images for each item. Let's load one. Um, here it is right here. Attachments. Uh, let's say you need to uh, associate some sort of document with the item, like a receipt or a spreadsheet or whatever. You can do that. Uh, let's add an item. We we'll call it a receipt. File name. Just click on the three dots there, and we have a receipt here. Linked assets. You can specify assets that are linked to each other, which means every time you change location, they all go together. Every time you change a status, the status is changed together, etc. Depreciation. It's, uh, just for the sake of demonstration, we'll say that this is a item that's being straight line depreciated. It was placed in the service. On 1125, there's a cost to make the salvage value $50. Recovery period five years. Once you've done this, you can see that the depreciation table is automatically uh, created. Okay, so let's hit OK. There you go, there's the asset. All in one printer purchasing information, depreciation info, etc., etc. So that's a basic tutorial on how to add an asset, and we'll have more advanced videos coming soon. Thank you very much.